Well, next Tuesday is plan your vacation day, so if you're ready to pack your bags, it's time to start dreaming this week, and the Javits Center will be the place to find inspiration. The New York Travel and Adventure Show is bringing together top travel experts who can share travel tips and trends for spring break and for later this year. And Pauline Frommer will be at the show. She is co-president of Frommer Media and joins us now via Zoom. Pauline, good morning to you. How are you doing? Hey, good morning. Nice to speak with you. Good to speak with you. So what are some of the hot destinations right now for spring and summer travel here in the U.S. and, of course, abroad? Well, you know, the Frommer Guidebooks has experts in every corner of the globe. Every year we talk to them and we come up with a list of best places to go. Macon, Georgia, believe it or not, is going to be a hot destination this year because it's their bicentennial. In honor of that, there's going to be all kinds of celebrations. This is where the Otis Redding Museum is. And we think this is where Georgia is finally going to get its first national park this year. There are very important Native American burial mounds there that are fascinating to visit. So we're saying go there. We're also saying maybe instead of the Amalfi Coast in Italy, which everybody knows about, hugely crowded, very expensive, go to the Maratea coast of Italy. This is right at the sole of the boot, much less crowded, much less expensive. And because the dollar is stronger than it's been against the euro in decades, all of Europe is finally much more affordable for Americans. Even with inflation, the values you get in Europe are better than they've been in years. Uh, so, Pauline, I will say this. The Italian suggestion, you can definitely get away with. The Macon, Georgia <laughs> is going to be a tough sell for a lot of family. <laughs> Kids, we're going to Macon, Georgia. <laughs> Pack your bags. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm kidding, of course. I'm sure Macon is lovely this time of year. Well, before you can enjoy vacation, you have to get there. So let's talk about air travel. It is a disaster. We talk about it all the time. So let's try to dress this up the best we can. Last week, one airline said it could be another bumpy summer. So what should travelers expect going in? They should expect bumps. And there have been studies that show that those who fly before 9 a.m., I know it's ugly, but they have an 80% chance of getting there on time. Fly later in the day, and that's when the weather systems build up. So when that happens, we've seen the airlines aren't equipped to handle it. So you want to fly early in the day, you want to do a nonstop flight, and you want to go to major hubs. That's because that's where the crews are. So if you have the choice between going to, say, Milwaukee or Chicago, Chicago, go to Chicago. They'll be able to staff up more efficiently if something goes wrong there. It really puts such a damper on vacation when you when you think about all the cancellations and all the delays that we've been experiencing and been talking about here on the news for the last couple of months. Hopefully the airlines can rectify that before the, the busy summer and spring travel season. Let's talk about some deals out there because the other thing we've also highlighted in our programs is inflation and everyone is feeling the squeeze in our wallets from everything out there from vacations to day to day items. So what bargains do you see out there? and What strategies do you have to save on certain things like airfares and hotel, etc.? Sure. Well, there just was a study of 36 billion airfare fare transactions, and they found that those who bought their tickets on a Sunday statistically spent 15 percent less on international travel, 5 percent less on domestic. Why is that? Study doesn't show. It was just an AI study of patterns. I think it's because corporate travel agents don't work on the weekends and so they know you're a leisure traveler you may or may not travel so book on a sunday fly midweek same study found that wednesday flights or actually tuesday flights are the cheapest right now everybody wants to get away from the weekend because there's not as much business travel now so those who do midweek save the most well those are some great tips right there so many more people are traveling post covid as we know let's talk about some popular theme parks what do families need to know now that everybody He's traveling en masse and in bulk to these places. Uh, if you're going to Disney, know that surge pricing is in effect. It used to be you would know what the price was by the season. Now it changes by the day. So you have to check out the Disney map because you could literally pay twice as much to get in on a Saturday as you do on a Wednesday. So do your advanced research. And maybe on the days Disney expense is expensive, go to SeaWorld, go to Universal, go to other places. 
You got it. Also, is it too late for uh, thinking about a, a spring trip right now? It, or And are we too late for <laughs> summer as well? Can you do last minute bookings? <laughs> No, actually, you want to book four to six weeks in advance of to get the best airfares. So you're fine. Book away. Actually, cruises are very inexpensive right now. They have that industry has not fully come back. So there are deals to be found. You just got to go out and look for them. And with your advice, you have now pointed people in the right direction. Pauline, thank you so much. Thank you. That's Pauline Frommer, co-president of Frommer Media, and thanks for being with us here this morning. Hopefully you take those tips to heart and you too can get on that dream vacation. The New York Travel and Adventure Show will be at the Javits Center this weekend from January 28th and 29th, of course. And for our, more information, you can go to our website, cbsnewyork.com.